Good morning. This is Greg Huffman. I'm a firearms instructor here at the American Institute for Marksmanship at uh, Cave City, Kentucky. I'm also a retired law enforcement, 20 years with the Kentucky State Police, 17 of which I was a uh, certified range officer, firearms instructor for the State Police. Our purpose here today is to test this uh, ballistic armor and plating in the backpack. Today we're going to shoot uh, a Glock G35 40 caliber S&W. Uh, the load that we're going to be using will be the Spear Gold Dot uh, at approximately 1200 feet per second, 155 grain bullet hollow point design. Uh, the purpose of this test is to, uh, is to see if it will penetrate uh, the armor that's been placed in this uh, backpack. Still doesn't appear to be any uh, through and through penetration. Looking at the materials now, when you shoot material like this, can you sometimes it has a tendency to close up, but I don't see anything that looks like that. Can you bring it closer? I'm having a little trouble hearing you. Okay, that's good. Doesn't appear to be any through and through penetration on this. Holes through material tend to close back up after a projectile passes through them, but I don't even see anything like that, so. Right about the center, I, I've moved them out where I wasn't hitting the same spot. I wanted to hit various areas. Here's to be a clean back. Uh, we just completed the, uh, the Glock G35 test, five rounds in the backpack. Now we're switching to the uh, FN57, and the ammunition that we're going to be testing right now is the SS197. This is the 40 grain uh, VMAX load with the polymer tip. We'll see how it does. Clear. All right. You want to go on up and uh, get the backpack and as you can see, I moved my point of aim here to this clear area. I've got five rounds here. Uh, now that's a 22 caliber projectile, so it would be harder to see, but to me, it does not appear that it has uh, fully penetrated the, the backpack either. Again, about this level, first third up. It looks clean. All right, now we're going to try a different ammunition for the 5.7. Again, the first load we tested, the, the blue polymer tip, that is the SS197, the 40 grain VMAX. The next load we're going to test is the SS198 lead-free cartridge. Uh, this cartridge, this projectile should be moving at approximately 2,150 feet per second and uh, let's see what it does.
clear. obvious penetration again let me let me expand on that ammunition too that is a uh, the SS198 is a is a law enforcement round which is approximately 150 feet per second faster than the civilian version the SS195 uh, they tell me I have not tested it but they tell me velocity on it is approximately 2,000 feet per second so the law enforcement version that we just tested on the backpack is actually 150 feet per second faster than that. And uh, I, I do not see any penetration, actually to my surprise, because that projectile has a, an aluminum core penetrator in it. Good job. All right, we've... Uh, completed the testing and uh, been digging projectiles out of the backpack uh, confirmed that uh, that we haven't uh, perforated the backpack here are the 155 grain spear gold dots out of the 40 caliber and we have some beautiful mushrooming here the gold dot is a bonded projectile and uh, this test here uh, bears that out because we have I don't see any jacket or core separation at all and got some very nice mushrooming here we even have some of the backpack, backpack material uh, lodged in the hollow point as we move over to the 5.7 as expected the uh, SS197 with the polymer tip is, uh, is all fragments we just have lead and jacket fragments and uh, actually what that bullet is designed to do. We move to the uh, SS-198. Most of these are intact. Hollow point construction, the nose is bent over. You can see how that is deformed. This, uh, I haven't done extensive testing with the 5.7, but this is the worst condition projectile that I have seen using the SS-198 in the 5.7. You can see this one is just uh, flattened out. This is this, and this is more typical. You can see how the nose, the hollow point cavity is bent over. And we even have one of the meplats from the SS-197. That's on the base of the bullet. Very good. I'm uh, I'm impressed so far.